<clears throat> check, check, one, two. Guten Abend, absolutely. New waiting screen. Oh, we got it. We got a couple different ones. I was just feeling Union since that's where we are currently at, I think, with our stream save. Oh, gosh. <laughs> welcome, welcome, everybody. Have a seat. We are getting ready to start things up very soon. Also, Shuzan, just letting you know, the test was successful. Oh my gosh, it worked this time. I guess we just had to clear things out and then plug it back in, so that's good. Just about ready to start. Hello, hello, everybody. Sitting on down. At least I think you're sitting. Maybe you're standing. Maybe you've got that really cool thing uh, that those desks that elevate. That's fine too. You do you. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna challenge any of that. All right, good. But however it is that you watch these streams, welcome, welcome. Shoot, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna start. Like, dang it, I'm slightly early, it's fine, you know, whatever. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and start this bad boy. Hello! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the official Rockfish Game stream where I am your host and your guide, Eric Schrader, the community ambassador for Rockfish Games. You have entered into the viewport of everything we do from a development standpoint. You get it hot off the press. Like, we're talking, we had an update yesterday where we were trying to fidget around with this new stuff and Dang, I'm gonna show you some of that. I'm gonna show you what that looks like straight, like so fresh, the freshest. Oh my gosh. And uh, you know, I also just, I feel inclined to tell you guys that it helps us so much whenever you wish list the game. It also helps when you do like the, the obligatory like, comment, subscribe thing. Like I know, I know you've probably heard it a bajillion times, but uh, it helps a ton. And if you guys could hit the like button, if you do come back here frequently and you enjoy these, uh, sincerely, like that goes a long distance. It really means a lot to us that you do that. And uh, yeah, we'll keep on doing these uh, pertaining to how things look on your end and our end and you know, meet in the middle, whatever that looks like. It's good, it's been great. It's been great so far. We are eager to keep doing this. So uh, let's talk very briefly about what we're gonna be showing today. Uh, first off, we're not showing that corner of the green screen. Get wrecked! Mm, that's right. Um, we fixed that. Thanks, thanks, Susan. Really do appreciate that. Uh, otherwise, we are going to be going into our stream save and talking about a number of things right out of the gate pertaining to resources. And I've also got a little sneak peek for you guys uh, as to what we are probably going to look at next week as well. This is this is directly where we left off last week. Um, and, uh, I did do, I did, I did do a cheat. I did one little cheat thing. Cause I wanted to talk about, uh, some, some important things. So you guys know, we're still adding more equipment into the game. I've accidentally shown you stuff. Uh, legitimately, Michael, it was not my intent. Uh, but, um, you've accidentally seen some stuff and that's fine. You know that there's still stuff, uh, in the work in progress. So I'm going to hover over this disintegrator. You guys know that this is in the works. This is something we scheduled schedule the reveal for but this is different from the last item that we used uh there's one added modifier on here uh that's you you don't have access to it because you don't have any reason to utilize it in your current game space 
Now, uh, this is going to open up a talking point regarding our resources and how that's getting completely revamped, all right? You could call it an overhaul, if you will. So the second modifier, the second modifier on here, you can see straight out, it reads 100% increased chance to extract higher rarity resources when mining. The, what? What does that even mean? My, but whenever I shoot my weapon at a, an ore thing, it just drops that ore and that's it. Well, do I have news for you? We have begun overhauling this. We, we started showcasing it last week. If you weren't here last week, I know that Shu went through and he hit uh, some highlights on last week's stream. So if you go back last week, if you go over on YouTube or even in the, the VOD on uh, Twitch, you should be able to see markers that show you when we start talking and revealing certain key elements of this resource package that we're opening up. So this is the next big step. So there's gonna be modifiers in the game, surprise, surprise, that are going to affect your mining. So you might have a weapon that's just like your sheer damage dealer. You might have one that's like better for mining. You might have equipment that does stuff that's better for mining, etc., etc. because we're bringing this to the forefront with our overhauling system. Now. Last week, I did talk about the different tiers of items, which this is directly influencing. 100% increased chance to extract higher rarity resources when mining, right? So I wanna give you guys an example of that. And in order to do that, I'm gonna to go to a site that I know has uh, some healthy mining nodes. Um, and the mining nodes themselves, it's kind of funny. Oh. 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 Uh, anyway, um, but the mining nodes, um, you know, they're they're kind of funny uh, because they're not done in this version that I'm showing you. But we are getting the rarities finished up. So you'll be able to see how that works in just a second. It'll be great. Hmm. This is a good stretch. I don't know if you know that. Excellent. Mm. Everyone's like mining, mining, mining. <laughs> More earth wide. Oh my gosh. <laughs> More dev stream dancing, please. Oh wait, this is the smooth part. All right, hopefully my hair didn't look too crazy. All right, here we are, here we are. Uh, this, site ha this site has some mining opportunities. I think there's one over here. I'm kind of just fast tracking this because I want to show you. I'm going to show you what we're talking about uh, when I'm expressing this. Yeah, here we go. Uh, is there yeah, okay, okay. So I think there's mining deposits in here. Yeah, oh my gosh. My memory did not fail me. So uh, let's go ahead and just use the Jaeger pulse laser on this iron deposit. So you see right above me, we got seven irons and one rich iron, okay? So that rich iron, like it's literally exactly the same as iron. The value of it is increased. Maybe there's something more to it than that. Maybe it's only to sell at a higher price. Do I know the answer to that? Am I telling you yet? But you can see that there's a distinction between the rarities whenever you're mining. So now let's go over to the disintegrator and we got concentrated iron. Come on, give me a little bit better. Come on, show the show the fine folks at home. Okay, so we got two concentrated irons. Was that actually worse? That was actually worse. This beam laser has failed me. That's what I get, random RNG chance. Uh, but uh, what you were supposed to see is how the modifier enhances your chances. Blech. I was really hoping for a superior, but regardless, you can see how when you're mining your uh, various sites, they are going to provide different tiers, right? Different uh, different rarities of that resource. And this is going to be uh, something that's improved across 
the like entire game space. The entire game space. Um, so just looking at this map screen right here, I also want to point out that in this space, in all of these spaces, we want to ensure that when you are looking for a specific type of resource to mine, it's going to be easier for you to pinpoint where those locations are at. This is also something we talked about last week, but just diving in a little bit more clearly. So for example, uh, the EMP fields directly, it might say something along the lines of, like from the map, we would like to have some sort of information here that's telling you, oh, hey, you can find iron here. It's, it's common. Common iron is found here. Not common iron. You can commonly find iron because there's also common tiered iron. But you get what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying. Wording aside, uh, you'll know like the GMB mining fields. This will also be a great spot for iron to generate. So if you are, you know, trying to finish off your perks and you're just annoyed because you can't seem to keep finding, uh, you know, that rare resource iron, and you're like, dang it, I need, I need this. I have it, but I need this. Now you can say, all right, you know what? Instead of relying on RNG to randomly find it from a shopkeep or randomly find an open container, I'm just gonna go to a location where I know it generates and I'm going to mine it. And the quality, the yields that I get back is now also gonna be affected by the tools and uh, uh, abilities that I have at my disposal. Now, um, for those of you who are kind of wondering like, you know, the modifier itself, some people are gonna be like, nah, big brain plays, I'm just gonna go for weapons that just add to the weaponing damage and I'm never gonna look at mining forever. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. There could be modifiers that help uh, mining in other ways too. I just accidentally scrolled over passives for no apparent reason. Um, like different items, you know, we are not finished with this process yet, but there is more to come, more to talk about in regards to how this is all coming together. So much so, I also wanted to show you a little bit more about what it's going to look like because it will in fact look a little different too. So give me one second as I kill the sound. I wanna kill it, it's gonna die. Murdered. Sound has been murdered. Uh, because I wanna show you a little video of how mining is going to look very soon. In fact, I might even be able to show this next week. That's how close we are. All right, so here we go. We're gonna bounce over to our new screen. That's, this is the wrong video. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bug, literally, get it? Oh my gosh, hang on a second, hang on a second. Goodness gravy, who hired this streamer? Get him out of here. Oh my gosh. Where'd I put that video? What, S seriously, did I move the video after asking if I could do it? I deleted it off my computer. Oh my gosh, hang on a second, I'm gonna, hang on a second. Hang on, here, listen to this music. I'm gonna grab this video. Uh, it's a little showcase of what we're in the works with uh, in regards to all things. Uh, do, 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 do. Download, yes, please, thank you. Wonderful. Aren't live streams great? Aren't they just the absolute best where you get to see everything exactly where it's at and thoroughly planned out with zero errors and issues? Like, it's, it's truly the best. It's truly the best. Okay, let's let's do that again. All right, here we go. Here we go. Now, please enjoy this little video. Hey, hey, one more time, one more time. Let's, let's watch that one more time. I know this sounds quiet, don't worry about that. As you can see, 
we are making very good progress on this resource overhaul. I know that some of you guys have always been like, oh my gosh, like all the crystal formations across the, the, the asteroids is like, it looks really cool, but I wish I could actually do something with it. Well, guess what? You're welcome. That's right, what you actively saw here is the generation of the resource is not just a simple node, it's actually spread out. And you can shoot any part of that and it's gonna start providing that particular resource for you. Now these are also a small clustered and the generation was all in one asteroid to give you an idea, blah, 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 blah. You probably understand that, but this is something that's gonna be spread out across the entirety of the game. And we'll also probably have those like scenic crystals too, just because they do look really freaking cool. Uh, and we don't wanna mess up your screenshots too much. I mean, let's let's be clear here. Uh, but yeah, this is, this is the direction that we are taking this. Very happy with it thus far. And uh, like I said, if things continue to progress uh, soundly, I should be able to actively show you this in its working process next week, as early as next week. And again, this is utilizing equipment that can modify uh, your mining capabilities, right? I know that there's some people out there who are absolutely losing their crap right now because mining has been something we've talked about for, I think over a year, over a year, right? Um, See, we've saved the comments. Like they're all, if you've been posting on the forums, we got it. It's like we look up mining and there's just like a slew of people like, is mining gonna be important in this game? Is there gonna be improvements to mining? You guys said you were gonna do mining stuff? Yes, we are getting close, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting very close to this. I hope that you're excited as I am. I'm very pleased with these results. I think that they speak for themselves. Uh, but like I said, there's gonna be a lot more to show next week. Um, and, uh, yeah, so get pumped, get excited. I'm so glad that you're on this adventure with us, by the way, cause like, it's like, it's like our dream to realize all these things too, right? So it's like, we have these, just imagine like all these little crispy nougats right here. All right. I think you can just like blast across them and you're collecting all of it, all of it. Mmm, nougats. Who doesn't like a good nougat? Uh, what's that? What's that? What I'm being told? Uh, crystals are not nougats. You can't eat them. All right. Well, that's, uh, that's a little awkward. That's fine. All right. We're going to keep mining out this place with our beam laser. That should give us higher rarity items. <laughs> higher rarity drops. This beam laser. Oh my gosh. Nothing. Okay. Let's go back to the Jaeger. All right, good. At least it's not giving us higher rarity either. Oh my gosh. The the random luck this stream. All right, there we go. We got some rich iron. We got some concentrated iron. We got some flawless iron. Now you're starting to see the benefits of this beam laser. There we go. Some more flawless iron. Oh my gosh. It's all coming together now. Working as intended. Definitely didn't have any hiccups whatsoever, but you can even see, I'm gonna reveal the, the, the amount of monies that each one of these costs as well. Now I think the addition of the price point, uh, the smaller figure versus the larger figure, I think that's new. I don't think that's in the current formula. Um, but like you can see on this one, it says three times 250. So 250 is how much each one of these costs, right? So you can sell three of these for 750 credits. Three for 750 credits. This is in comparison to each one of these irons costing 15 each. So this grand total is 855. We have 57 iron here, three almost at the same price. So you can see that there's you know, a profound uh, difference between the rarities. So we have uncommon to common, which is now 40 each. And then we have rare, which are 75 each, and then a huge jump up to 250. This is just iron. This is your basic common iron resource that you can find if you search specific locations. And your, the, the equipment that you use, that will impact how your chances, it'll impact the, the tier of that resource that you will be mining. Beam laser, I believe, is gonna be one of the more efficient items to do this with. Um, I know I'm, I saw somebody uh, earlier in the chat, they said flat cannon, duh, right? Like you're gonna shoot a flat and there's gonna be shattered all across the, the plane. Now, look, I like that in theory, but we also want to have just a little bit more nuance when it comes to you 
taking the time to mine. For us, it makes a lot more sense to bind mining benefits to something like a beam laser, as opposed to a flat cannon, which kind of seems like it would hurt resources if you use that. Now, nothing is set in stone yet pertaining to that, but we will have the, the overarching point I'm making is that we will have more concentrated forms and spaces for you to optimize your mining output through your equipment. Very good, very good. Deshra says, why flak when you can fire a nuke and destroy the whole asteroid? See, also slightly a problem. <laughs> slightly a problem. Like, I get it. We're not trying to be like hyper realistic, but th we do want to like take certain steps of like, you know, make it feel like it should act the way it does. You know what I'm saying? Rock candy is legit. Oh my gosh. That's very true. That's very true. All right. Um, so let's go ahead and fly around here a little bit. I know that it says concept art in the title. Now, hang on a second. Let's pace ourselves before we get there. Um, I want to answer a couple of your guys' questions about resources right now, uh, since we are very much focused in on that. Also to help Will segment the stream accordingly. So he's not having to jump back and forth between things. Um, so if you guys have questions about resources, I am happy to start answering what that looks like. Oh look, Radiant Atheum Crystals, nice. Concentrated Iron, let's see, we got Clear Atheum Crystals, excellent. So the tiers have different names. Neat, fun, feels good. Game looks fantastic, does it have ray tracing? Uh, yes? It does, but it's not like, shoot. I need the I need the official response from Casper, uh, or I guess Michael's here too. Michael, <clears throat> uh, I know that we have, we've utilized it to some degree, but I don't know if it's like, it's not like a hundred percent. Gosh, I need the official response. I'm butchering it right now. Oh my gosh. Well, wait for Michael's response. He'll, he'll clear it up. Oh my gosh, sorry. That question's been asked so many times, it has made my brain turn to mush when I hear it. Oh gosh, sorry about that. We'll get clarity on it, one second. No more shooty shoots to mine. You can still do that, but you're gonna find more opportunities depending on uh, what equipment you utilize, right? Uh, we wanted there to be a direction. So if you don't care about mining at all, and I, we know there's gonna be a lot of people who just wanna dive into their action arcadey looter shooter with no regard towards mining. That's fine, it's great. You don't have to worry about it. You just shooty, shooty, boom, boom, collect all your resources as is. But if you want to put more emphasis on mining, maybe a little bit more emphasis on trading and uh, you know selling, uh, you know that type of direction, absolutely, by all means, by all means, you that you have that route as well. That's the clear distinction that we're going here. That's the clear distinction. Very, very good. Uh, let's see. So any good question got to answer? Excellent, glad to hear. How does one acquire the, a charge up super powered beam laser like that disintegrator? Well, it's not in the game yet. I have the development branch, so we have been exploring it. In fact, you might even be able to tell that we've adjusted its pushback a little bit more. So it's harder to stabilize when you're using this beam laser. Yeah, we want it to be, we want it to be fierce. Uh, so it's still in the process of being fine tuned and tweaked and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, that will be in the uh, the spring update. Since we don't know officially which month that is. <laughs> All right, let's see. What else we got? Any way to increase cargo slots? Yes. Having more tiers of minerals means more slots they will occupy. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely true. So what is this penumbra I have heard of? No, you stop that. Uh, any plans to add unstable volatile ores? Excellent. Is that Excel? Did you change your username? Or is this a different person? Regardless, I love that question and I love that idea. You should definitely add that to the Steam forums and be like, hey, I have this idea for resources. Uh, that being said, I think we already do. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, but still, I love it. I wanna make sure ideas like that get a lot of attention and love. It doesn't have ray tracing, says Bearded Frog. Oh my gosh. 
Look at look at the casual gamer. I just called you a casual gamer. Wow. Look at me smack talk you. Goodness gravy, get wrecked. No, I'm just kidding. I love you, Bearded Frog. You know I do too. But um, yeah, no. So it doesn't have ray tracing. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what else we got. Uh, coming in spring, I'm pretty confident that the minerals and whatnot are scheduled for the spring. Let me double check our frequently asked questions to ensure that is accurate. Uh, overhauled crafting and resources is scheduled for the spring. That is correct. For the spring. Um, and don't worry, Twitch, I'm not ignoring you. Can a player skip the main storyline mission? in order to continue on the storyline. No, if you want to continue the story, you have to do the story. I have a feeling I misunderstood that question, but, uh, <laughs> but in order to progress the story, you do have to play the story. Uh, and in order to, to, if you want to skip the story, uh, you literally just don't do it. Uh, but you, in order for like to, progress everything you have to do the story i am i am wording that so poorly goodness gravy i'm so sorry i butchered that so hard anyway uh will we have legendary baromite oh my gosh is baromite alive i think some experts claim that baromite is living so uh but legendary resources i don't know that could be awesome we'll have to see in the future All right, what, oh, I'm gonna check Twitch for their questions real quick because I've been letting YouTube hog all the question time. Look at that. Medved says, wow, a casual gamer calls someone else a casual gamer. Dang, man. That cuts deep. Well played, well played. All right. It looks like I got your questions answered pertaining to resources, so uh, that feels pretty good. Um, but yeah, I mean, as you can see, uh, this is not just some sort of like minor tweak, minor, uh, you know, change. Like this, is, there's a bit of an overhaul going on here. Like, especially from the video we just showed, um, the resource nodes, like what you're seeing on screen right here, this is, this is how things are at right now, but it's completely getting reworked. And you will be able to find different rarities. You're going to be able to collect them. And then you're going to be able to uh, use those, spend them however you want to do, how you do things, however you deem worthy, whether it's selling or crafting or what have you. Thank you for that mainframe expansion. Let's go ahead and find this hidden item as well since we're here. Also, please remind me to change my colors because it doesn't, yeah, it's not, it's not doing it for me. Um, wait, where's this at? Where, where are we at? Ah, we were close. All right. There you are. Cruise booster and some creds. All right, I'll take it. Last but not least, let's go ahead and trigger this asteroid. Man, I love the speed of the Vanguard. It feels so good. Ah! Oh, look at that. We have rich Clygon. We have concentrated Clygon. Oh my gosh. It's not just affecting one or two resources. It's kind of like it's affecting every single one. What? Crazy. Crazy. All right, I think we've mined this place out pretty decently well. So let's go ahead and uh, head somewhere else. Looks like a Klingon bird of prey. Yeah, it, it kind of has those vibes. It's much smaller, <laughs> much smaller uh, than a Klingon bird of prey. Uh, let's see, where can we go from here? Uh, we, can, we can go anywhere we want. We can talk about lots of new things. We can go anywhere we want. Oh, no, we can't go anywhere. All right, whoops. No, not quite yet. We're getting closer though, guys. Let me tell you what. This should be getting this should be getting you excited. Uh, progress has been very good on the back end. While I can't show or reveal anything uh, about the Drake system at this point in time, 
What I can say is that um, as with each one of our, you know, new systems with new opportunities that it reveals and, and new material, uh, it's definitely been, it's definitely been good. It's definitely been good. Did I say I don't have anything to show you? I'm a liar. I am a liar because I do have some new things to show you. So first, uh, we're gonna slip into uh, the, uh, the area where you've already seen things. So this is the clerical side of the Okar. And I am pronouncing it correctly for anybody out there who cares. Okar. If any of you say Ocker, no, nah, that's wrong. Incorrect, you're fired, get out of here. No, shoot, Okar. It's the Okar clerical Corvette. So some of you might be wondering like, okay, so what's the difference between a standard Corvette and a clerical Corvette? Well, duh, this one's clerical. <sighs> no, sincerely though, there are, there are a lot of differences. And while I'm not going to splurge on Okar lore right now, even though I could, there is a very large distinction between how all of these different parts of the sub-factions within the Okar operate. Their society, if you will. Uh, so there's a lot to that. There's a lot to that. Um, otherwise, check this out! Oh! Mm! Mm! So there's also some other factions uh, related to the Okar that are being worked on. Very casual presentation here. We're just looking at three ships, uh, one of which is completely brand spanking new. Uh, but these are the Okar Prime units. Okar Prime. So now we see that there's a clerical side, now we see there's a prime side, and we have that standard, you know, the, the standard Okar as well. Um, which, uh, which I will, okay. I said I wouldn't get into lore, I lied. I have, to say, I have to say a little bit. Michael, I promise I won't go crazy. So standard Okar that you're experiencing, like through Everspace One especially, like these are generic, like police force styled troopers, okay? The long story about the DMZ is that the Okar were here first, we invaded them. So through the treaties that were established, they're the policing force to make sure everybody's uh, adhering to the treaties that were established. All right. But neither of these are part of that policing force. Or maybe they are. Maybe I've said too much. I'm done, Michael, I promise. All right. There we go. There we go. Uh, but aside from the Okar, I mean, obviously, there's more than just more Okar showing up. Right? Of course. So, um... I'm sure some of you noticed that in the Discord, I actually tagged an individual um, in the Discord, in the general chat. I would just like to point out that we have begun working on and have been very pleased with the results of our uh, some of our Kickstarter backer creative rewards. It's coming along nicely. And as you guys know, we are introducing new factions over time. You know, we're, we're building the stage for how you're experiencing the world, how you're interacting with it, and also where you're obtaining certain types of items and set pieces and experiencing the world through different lens, blah, 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 whatever that means. Am I right? <laughs> and so uh, we have to keep things fresh. And so we're introducing uh, all of these new little details over time, and it's getting better and better. Internally, we have been having a blast with how this has been uh, compiled, and I hope that you're excited uh, for what's to come this year. Because this is just comp this, this is just concept. It's just concept art. This is all just concept art. That's all it is. And why is this one smaller? Didn't I have a high res version? Oh my gosh, I loaded the wrong one. Look at me, I'm a punk. So these are some of the things that you guys can get excited for. Um, because these will be realized as all things within our concept art generally get. So there you go. There you go. Also, I'm really curious if there's any noteworthy individuals in the chat right now. Uh, just 
poking around, uh, looking to see. Nope, I think we're good. I think we're good. All right, we're good. <laughs> but yeah. Lots and lots and lots of stuff. And I uh, hope that you guys are all looking forward to it. Now, I'm also not done with stuff to show, so don't leave the stream just yet. <laughs> we will be talking about a couple other things here uh, in a little bit as well. We're not done? Oh, no, we ain't done yet. No, we're not done yet. I do want to just check the chat very brief, briefly, briefly, uh, very briefly, just to make sure we're uh, making sure everyone's taken care of. You're all having a nice, enjoyable experience in here. Oh my gosh, we got raided. We got raided. Hello, Noodle. Hello, all of you, uh, you fine folks, you ladies and gentlemen. How did I not notice the raid? Well, two things. One, I'm actually blind. Uh, two, that's a lie, but I do love you. So welcome. I don't even know how many people are in the raid, but it's a, I feel like it's a lot, so welcome, sincerely. Welcome everybody who's showing up, sneaking in here. Goodness gravy. Uh, what were, you, what were you playing? You doing some uh, other space games that won't be named in this? I don't care. I'm just kidding. Obviously, our focus in here is Everspace 2. I know that you do play a lot of Star Citizen. That's pretty awesome. But welcome to the stream. Welcome to all of your followers. If you guys have never seen anything that's on the screen right now, uh, welcome to the official Rockfish Games stream of our title Everspace 2 currently in early access there's a free demo on Steam that you can pick up right the heck now its emphasis is not simulation but rather looter shooter in space definitely should check it out because like I said free demo uh, while also having the opportunity to purchase into the early access right now at a cheaper price than what it will be at 1.0 launch out in 2023 the price will boost upwards I don't know how much maybe by a thousand dollars so now you have to get it Otherwise you're boned, I don't know. Probably not that much. Regardless, can you tell I had coffee? All right, uh, let's head on over to the uh, freelancer hangar. Actually, we can't go there. <laughs> we can't go to a place that's selling ships. That's yeah. not telling. Uh, let's let's go, go on over here to the GMB uh, office hangar. Yes, perfect. Beautiful. <laughs> All right, so we got to repair our ship. And we have to change the ship colors, right? We have to change the ship colors. That's important. Uh, also got to make sure that I'm not uh, missing out on any chatting elements. <laughs> oh my gosh, Moist Noodle. You doing some alpha experiencing? Yeah, no, I, I totally get that. No, with our development streams that we do every Friday, you are getting first look at where we're at with development. So sometimes our streams can be a little bit wonky too, but it's all part of the process. Like we want to show you what we're working on. You actually missed a big segment on how we are revamping our mining systems. What? So we'll probably uh, tease it again a little bit later in the stream. No worries. No worries whatsoever. Mm, yeah, mining. I knew you would like that. I knew you would like that. Are those plasma throwers? Now calm down there, Spoot Knight. I said nothing and you saw nothing. Plasma throwers were only in existence in Everspace 1. All right, let's see. Love the art style for this game. Oh, thank you, Corius. That's really appreciated. That's really appreciated. I'll, I'll respond to this one. So we have Roru, Roruni Kinra. I butchered that username and I apologize. Uh, but here is what I want to state. They say, also hoping you include a lot of Easter eggs, paying homage to old school space games like Freelancer, Privateer, etc. That would probably motivate people to do more exploration. Well, let me tell you what. We have been inspired by a great many number of games from our youth and also movies as well to... Uh, that are callbacks to like parts of our story. I don't know if any of you guys have ever seen Blade Runner, but if you played Everspace One and did Throng's story arc, that's through the DLC, by the way. Very affordable expansion to Everspace One. A massive expansion to the roguelike formula where you meet additional characters anyway. My point is, is that we do love to reference, we do love to, to uh, satisfy uh, those things that we love. 
And yeah, you'll absolutely see Easter eggs. For sure. For sure. Let's see. Ship color change. Yeah, oh my gosh. I'm all like talking to you guys because like I care about the community and I forgot that we were doing a color change. Okay. Wow, not that. Okay. I do. I I always love the, the German color scheme. I, I do love going to that. That feels good. Um, but let's see. What else can we do? What other options do we have? We got a couple. We got a couple. I kind of like that. I kind of like this. That's too much. Mm, that's too much. Now, I feel like if we're going this, we need to go, like, obnoxious, right? Like, we need to be, like, super shiny gold, right? Like, who would fight this in space? At first, they're going to think, oh, those are resources I can mine, and they get too close, and they're like, oh, crap. Uh, but we're not, we're not going to do that. That's a, that's a little too much. A little too bracing. Uh, let's see. All right, I've decided we are going, we're going night mode. We're going to do this, then we're going to, uh, let's see, maybe we'll do, we'll kind of keep, we'll, kinda, we'll keep this light, right? Yeah? Nah, no, we're, we're, we're going the whole, whole thing. We're just going to go straight black straight jet black all the way across yeah okay i like this all right so let's see we've also got uh we don't have we don't have some great color options yet here let's go purple and then for decals we'll just kind of all right it's not it's not the best i could uh oh no i can't <laughs> Planned. I can't show those. Excellent. So we'll go with this. I think this is fine for now. We'll also be able to show a little bit more of the reflections of the game. Because I know some of you were wondering about that. Imagine being able to paint your ship in the game. Oh my gosh, boys. What a burn. What a burn. All right. <clears throat> They're clickable now. No, 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 no. It's an illusion, Tiberius. You saw nothing. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. So let's just, uh, let's just look at this gorgeous ship with all these little reflections and whatnot. You can actually see the, the base, the base, the station, the reflections are all coming across the ship itself. That's how metallic we are. This was not a good stopping part here. Maybe I can just, like, do a super cheeky... Let's get the Rockfish logo on here sort of thing, maybe? Can we do that? Is that, where's, I'm, I'm not getting the right angle. Oh, I'm not, I'm, whatever, I'm bad at this. You get the point. It's very reflective. It's very reflective. All right, so let's go, let's go do some stuff. Let's go do some stuff. We can do some more mining and showcase that a little bit further. Um, I do love this disintegrator, so that's great. We are absolutely not going here because the emissary quest is not available to you yet. This is uh, where you guys were left off from the story, uh, which actually reminds me, we could talk a little bit about uh, that story cliffhanger. I don't know how many of you were able to read our latest update. Um, it was posted on the Kickstarter. It was also posted um, over on Steam as well, uh, basically right before uh, this stream. It was earlier this week. Uh, but we were talking about um, like how the game was left on a, a bit of a cliffhanger, right? Um, well, the long story short is that, um, I mean, it's not going to just end there. We don't want you guys to just be wanting more forever. Uh, we want to kind of like do some stuff. Since it's going to be a long wait between now and the uh, official 1.0 release, well, you have the full story available to you. Uh, now, I can't show you too much on this front. I want to be very clear there. Uh, but it is something to note. It's something to, you know, get excited about. Um, so I want to jump over here and just show you uh, just a little bit of the cutscenes 
of what's up and coming, what's around the corner. So that you guys know, we're not gonna leave you on this detrimental cliffhanger of what's gonna happen, woo! So, I don't know about you guys, but uh, internally, we think that Tareen looks like an absolute badass. Uh, we love him. We love his Okar origin. Uh, we love his story, which you could find out more if you played the DLC of Everspace One. Oh my gosh, look at me just whoop in with the marketing. Let me tell you what. Oh my gosh, you have an entire story chain that gives you added details of who this guy is and why he's friends with Adam at all the clone. Oh my gosh. So good. Now, I can't tell you all the details, like I said, but he's probably important in the upcoming updates. Probably, maybe, because he's seen here. And let me tell you what, like he just, he does not give a single flipping F about anybody else's bullcrap. Like this guy knows what he's doing, all right? He is a man with a purpose, a man with a drive. Mm. But you never know. Maybe, maybe what's happening. I've got a hunch on what's going on with this story, okay? Hear me out, okay? So his mom is pissed and is like, you got to come home and clean your room, son. That's how it's going down. That's how it's going down. He's got to clean his room. Get it in order. Because we all know you can't, you can't be an effective human being unless you clean your room. Get on it. But rest assured, there is much more to this character and to this story that is opening up than what meets the eye currently. And if you don't know what's going on with the story and you're like, I need a quick recap. Nope, I'm not giving you a recap. If you want the recap, you can talk to other people, watch gameplay videos, or purchase the game itself. Better yet though, if you really want the full authentic story experience, I'll tell you what, Go play Everspace 1. You can purchase it over on Steam. <laughs> Get the DLC. Then you pick up Everspace 2 right where... Oh my gosh. Woo! Let me, let me go today. Just, just, <laughs> it's by Everspace 1, folks. It's great. It's great. It is a roguelike. Uh, a roguelite if we want to get pedantic about things. I'll tell you what. Uh, but it's uh, it's quite a delight. But as you can tell, like there, there's much more developing through this story. Tareen's, uh, you know, he's playing some role into it. Uh, especially for those guys of you who have played through Everspace 2, you know that uh, there is a bit of tension in that cliffhanger that you're left with. Uh, but rest assured, we do have a pocket of information uh, to move forward from this point to make sure you're satisfied with where you'll be leaving things off to prep for that 1.0 release. All right, very good. And maybe, just maybe, just, just maybe, this has something to, whoops, this has something to do with the concept art that I showed? Maybe, I don't know. It's, I, who am I? I, just somebody who's making wild guesses because I don't have any information. Mm -mm. Nope, not me. Not a single shred of it. Man, those outlaws are getting out of hand though, am I right? Them outlaws are getting out of hand. All right, all right, all right, all right. So clearly we've been hard at work and we want to we want to talk about the next big thing and we're getting there, folks. We are truly getting there and we could not be more excited to show you. So uh, all that being said, I'm not gonna go to this location over here. <coughs> I already did that joke, I don't care. I still think it's funny. Um, and let's see, where do we wanna go now? We could go to some new locations. And by new, I mean ones that we haven't actually gone to yet. Wait, we haven't gone to the, the Border Patrol or the Gauntlet? Holy crap, the Gauntlet's a fun location. I've died there multiple times during live streams. We must go there. We must go there. All right. First time I've been able to watch in the weeks due to the night shifts game is looking great, by the way, from Shaky G. Hey, thank you so much for swinging on by. If you got any questions, you let me know because we can have an active conversation while we are doing all the things. Can you voice Hive? Uh, no, I cannot. I would need all kinds of modifiers and I don't have the proper modifiers to adjust my voice at this time. But I like what you're thinking. Will, we need to, we need to, plan this out. 
I think internally Michael's like, I hate you. <laughs> All right, anyway, we're having fun today. Jet Black with spiky emissive lights. Spiky lights? What is a spiky light? I'm curious. My goodness, Bearded Frog saying, <clears throat> I'm saying, yeah, it's seriously the best early access game out there. Woo, that is a bold statement, but a lot of praise and we appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Way more stable and more content and consistent than pretty much any other early access game. Wow. That is, that is heavy praise. I will be sure to tell the rest of the team. It's very kind of you. In fact, I, I want to just want to screenshot your statement there, which is now legally binding you to it. You can never say, untake that. You can't take that back. That's more of what I'm trying to say. There we go. Perfect. Excellent. <laughs> but seriously, thank you. That's, that's very big praise. Very big praise. Uh, do the scrolling texture is something this week. Shh, spoot night. Shh. <clears throat> Screw Tareen, is Carly alive? She was hot. <sighs> There's a lot to unpack there. Uh, moving on. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, gravy! Oh, that that makes me so happy though. So what's your favorite character in this video game? Carly. Why? Is she interesting? Is she well developed? Like what can you tell me a little bit about her? She's hot. Oh. Okay. Excellent. That's that's great. Um, is there more that you want to say about it? Yeah, I wanted the second game because she's hot. All right, perfect. We'll we'll see what we'll see what you do. It's good, good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> in fairness though uh i actually do agree i really enjoy her hair like the way that that was uh conceptually like brought together uh, <laughs> but that's not that's not ultimately why i enjoy carly's character uh still still it does come together well you guys are crazy <laughs> Oh my goodness, where is this stream going? We're like doing all these reveals and then you're just absolute nonsense in the chat. I love it, don't change. Oh my goodness. I wanna make sure I'm not missing any uh, questions or observations over on Twitch as well. I'm giving YouTube a lot of love today, woo. In fairness, you guys are being so great and asking questions and whatnot. Denara is <laughs> greater than Carly, fight me. Oh my gosh, you guys. Um, all right, so let's get a couple of these questions. Uh, I feel like this one's a really good one from Eek the Real Angry Snail. Welcome. What are the planned difficulties for the game? Will there be a hardcore mode? A very good question. Um, so basically we will have diff difficulties, uh, <clears throat> like selections of difficulties in the future. Um, let me check my cheat sheet to see if I've got a specific date for when that's gonna happen. Da, 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 da. Difficulty, 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 difficulty. I don't actually have a specific frame of reference. So I'm guessing it's probably not gonna happen in the spring. It'll be more of like a summer or a fall update is my guess. Um, but yeah, there will absolutely be a difficulty system that is added to the game where you can make things easier for yourself, make things harder. Um, and similar to Everspace 1, we want to make sure that we convey what's changing in the game when you do that. So what I mean by that is like, when you choose easy mode, it's just not like a little star that shows up and it says easy and there's like a pacifier, right? That's, no, uh, it will say like reduced uh, enemy damage, uh, reduced AI complexity, uh, you know, mission rewards decreased, uh, credits decrease, you know, all that type of stuff. So you know exactly what's changing when you modify the game in that nature. So it'll be easy. Your rewards are probably going to be loosened up a little bit as well. Then there'll also be like the harder difficulty that you can select. Um, and also similar to Everspace 1, it will very much tell you like, oh, well, there'll be more enemies that generate. Um, item values will maybe be decreased. So you have to collect more of them to sell. Um, but there's greater chance for legendaries. I don't know, whatever. Whatever that looks like, it'll all be explained in those difficulty selections. Now, as far as other game modes, like a hardcore mode, this is not something 
we're looking at. We want the core game to follow around the story. So you'll be diving into the story itself and doing that from the beginning all the way to the end. And if you want different game experiences, you will be choosing those as you're playing the game. You don't have to do the story entirely if you want to. You can branch off and go fly out and take on jobs, find side missions, uh, complete location challenges, all of that, whenever and however you want, right? And as you can see, we're also developing the resource management and collection further. So if you wanted to go mining and do trading and stuff, absolutely, that's gonna be an opportunity for you to go as well. Um, but then in addition to all of that, when you do hit the end game, there will be even more opportunities that open up, uh, including but not limited to an ancient rift that is kind of like adding a slice of Everspace 1 into Everspace 2. It's going to be opening up this rift. It's going to give you a randomized mission objective. You're going to be thrusted into randomly generated locations. And to complete that mission chain, you're going to have to do, I don't know, things and based on how far you go and what you accomplish you will be rewarded for your efforts but we will be talking more on the ancient rifts uh later this year i think that's actually scheduled for the fall i think that's for the fall so hardcore not so much end game challenges absolutely there was nothing in that container it's fine. It's fine. I'm not upset. I thought in easy mode you get flamed by the game for being a filthy casual. I wonder, you know what? I feel like... I feel like if you're playing on easy mode, I gotta talk to the team about this. Team! Will, catalog this thought right now. I want you to store this. If you choose easy mode, the hive is much more savage to you. So that's a fair trade-off. Should I have? <laughs> Gosh dang it, now the community's gonna be like, oh yes, make it happen. You know what, make a suggestion on the forums. I don't care, I'll support it. <laughs> oh my God. But uh, rest assured, we, we do not shy away from suggestions like that. I think that would be a lot of fun. I think that would be hilarious. So, uh, yeah, I mean, there could absolutely be other modifiers that uh, change the way the game is revealed through those lenses. Uh, but rest assured, we want to make sure, at the end of the day, like, come on. At the end of the day, the reason why we want to have difficulties selected is so that we can appeal to a much greater audience. We do not want to have easy mode just berate you the entire time. That's not going to be very healthy to individuals who can't like play the game at the normal rate it's meant to be. That's just not, that's not nice. Uh, but we can play around with those ideas, right? Just in a respectful way. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know why I said anything. Oh my goodness. I feel like he's gonna bite me in the butt somehow. All right, uh, oh yeah, I gotta do the power sockets. Oh my gosh, it's been so long since I've done this mission. I can't even remember where the power sockets are at. Are they in this area? Do I have to go collect them? That's a sock, that's an energy sphere socket. We need the power core. Is the power core on the side? Shoot, I can't remember how to navigate this place. I do like it though. I love these, these sites, these like colonial research stations that are just torn asunder. Um, maybe they were destroyed from the war. Maybe it's more of an impact of the outlaw threat. Man, I legitimately can't remember where these are at. I wish I had a better sensor that could pinpoint <clears throat> items like that. All right, uh, do, 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 do. just gonna hunt a little bit of the debris and hopefully not ram into anything like an absolute moron. I feel like you're supposed to enter the side. Oh my gosh. I'm questioning how to do this location, which tells me I need to go. We're gonna go somewhere else. <laughs> Eric, watch out, there are mines. Oh my gosh, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> do you know you can open that 
space placed by one side by using mines. Oh, I I don't doubt that whatsoever. Um, let's just head over to the Zarkov Blitter Patrol. We could do some stuff here, and I love the cloudy formations here going on. Damien Spectre. Thanks, I'm a UI designer. Felt the UI buttons on the main menu were placeholders. Thanks for clarifying. Okay, all right, okay. Oh, also, did I did I ever show the, the dialogue uh, saving? that we have now? Is that something? Did I even show that last week? I can't, I legitimately can't even remember. Anyway, this was due to popular request where you guys wanted to know uh, the exchanges that were being had. You're like, oh, I missed it. I skipped it. You know, whatever. Uh, so this is uh, by popular request and also something that we felt would just make a nice impact. Um, so yeah, whenever you're having uh, meetings and you're trying to figure out how to bring everything together, boom, bada, bing, bada, bam, you can see. Yay fun. Yay fun progress. Feels good. Also, there's another reason why I came to this. I need those! I got the power units I was looking for randomly. Oh, that feels good. Okay, uh, let's uh, destroy these. <laughs> Get wrecked. Dismantle those. Give me those power units. And then we're going to, ooh, phasium crystal. Dense, colorless, highly refractive crystal formed from intense pressure and heat found in turbulent environments. Oh. Oh, it's like it's giving me a hint where I can discover more of this. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. Who wrote these descriptions? I bet they're a really cool person. It, it was me. I wrote I wrote some of the descriptions. In the, anyway, all right. <clears throat> let's, uh, let's keep moving. I could, I could clean up a lot more of this, but gosh dang it, no, go, go, go. <sighs> Okay, everything's well, everything's fine and dandy. But yeah, listen to these sounds now. We got sound effects for that lightning. Making progress! Environmental design! Yay! I imagine some people are like, wait, there was no sound with the lightning before? <laughs> Things are coming together. Woo! Sound in space. You watch it, Medbed. My goodness, we're good. I do not want to crack open and slam down all you folks about realism in the chat. Oh man, don't you open that up. <laughs> she was gonna get the band hammer ready. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna fly over to this site cause uh, I discovered whenever I was watching you guys stream, uh, several of you in secret and sometimes revealing myself, a lot of you missed this secret over here, like this massive secret. Um, how? <laughs> Explore, folks! So many people have come to this region and then just not find this. I know some of you have been incredibly thorough, Kazaa, about all the locations and what they hold. Um, make sure you're doing the proper fly-throughs, especially in these regions. We don't want to put smoke in uh, sites that like just hinder your vision and obscure what you can find, right? Like there's actually, there's intentionality where we put the fog, where we put the nebulous cloudage. And there's also reasons why we put certain beacons that light your path forward. Very intentionally designed since all of these locations are handcrafted, right? Look at that. Look at that slowdown even. Very good. All right, so we're gonna blast some stuff here and then we'll answer some more questions and we'll keep it going. You guys are awesome, by the way. Thank you so much for being part of the stream. Nanobots large. Oh, that feels good. But uh, let's go ahead and... Uh... Whoop. 
No, we need to grab the thing. Okay. Whoop, whoop! Did we move the thing? Oh my gosh. I can't remember where the thing's at. Guys! These locations are too dang large. It's too much stuff. Too confusing. There's a race here, I think. Unless we change that. I can't remember where anything's at! Oh my gosh! Guys, the last time I explored Union in its fullest was like months ago. You know what I have been exploring? Hmm? You know what I've been looking at lately? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Mildly triggered? Oh my gosh, let me tell you what. Do you know how embarrassing it feels when it's like, oh, I'm gonna show content for the stream and I get like this whole plan out in my mind and then I like go to the locations I wanna show and then I'm like, wait a second, I don't know where anything's in. It's, it's slightly embarrassing, but rest assured, we're still answering questions. We're still making sure that you're getting taken care of uh, because at the end of the day, these streams are for you guys, right? We wanna make sure that you're getting questions answered. We're making sure that um, you can kind of see like how development is coming along. Even if that means me kind of screwing around and forgetting where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> let's explore together. Oh my gosh, Medbed. That's so sweet. That's so wholesome. All right, let's answer a couple questions while I'm being confused. <clears throat> Extra easy kitten mode. I like this. I like this idea. <laughs> no longer goes pew pew, but goes mew mew. All right. Okay. All right. Show ice and fire planets. Um, I could actually show those images that we've revealed about those locations again, but I can't like, I can't like show them in it. So for anybody who's missed what he's talking about, ice and fire planets, um, we actually did a small reveal uh, of what's gonna be shown up in Drake. Uh, and Drake is a location where you are going to be experiencing a very frosty site and a very fiery site. So this, uh, this imagery comes straight out of the Drake region, the Drake system, because there's multiple regions in the Drake system. There we go. Um, and these are kind of the, the two styles that we're aiming for. Both of these are planet side locations. You probably guessed that, but just making sure you know, uh, there is not just water casually hanging out in space, but that is water. And yes, you can travel into it you can go underneath the water. So that's kind of what we're, uh, what I'm able to show you in regards to that as of right now. But we will, we'll absolutely be showing you more about Drake and all that type of stuff. You know, obviously we showcased some of the upcoming um, uh, concept art. We showed concept art that's, you know, maybe probably prefer, uh, pertaining to the Drake system, I guess. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's such savagery coming over from Twitch. All right. <laughs> Michael's also calling me out for forgetting my fly pan, but yeah, sometimes I forget things to show. Sometimes I forget not to show certain things. It's true. I have, a, I have my plan of attack written on my desk right here to make sure I'm giving you all the things that are meant to be discussed. So just as a quick recap, since we're at the halfway point. Hi, welcome to the Rockfish Games stream where I'm your host, Eric Schrader, community ambassador for Rockfish Games. All things Everspace 2 related, you're getting that directly from me. Mm, it's a delight. Also, did you know that when you like, comment, subscribe, that it helps us grow from a social media perspective for all that marketing stuff? I'm serious, actually. Like, I'm, I'm kind of being playful about that, but sincerely. Um, definitely encourage you guys to do that. Um, but uh, otherwise, yeah, we are, we are, we have been talking a lot about stuff that's being worked on for the spring update, for the spring update. Um, and it's a lot. It is not a small amount of things. And one of those things is how uh, resources are now broken apart in varying tiers. Now we've already received a, a question about like, uh, well, what about my cargo hold? Because now you're holding on to a lot of varied other things. Yes, of course, right, right. We'll, we'll get to it. 
Uh, there's this whole package that's gonna be included with resources and trading. Um, and this should be available. This should be available in our spring update. This year, that's like, you know, when is when, when does spring start? Two months, three months? I don't even know. It could be somewhere between two and five months from now or something like that, I don't know. So that's soon. That is very soon, folks. Very soon. Uh, we've also discussed a couple of the uh, characters and um, <clears throat> factions, sub-factions, in fact. We've been discussing some of the sub-factions that you'll be experiencing uh, within the... Ooh, we found Earthwine. Excellent. Some of the sub-factions you'll be finding uh, in the future. Since you guys know that we're going to be expanding on those, um, anyone who isn't familiar with the term sub-faction, that's like a um, freelancer. This is a good example. So freelancer is a faction, whereas the redeemers are a sub-faction of freelancers. The blood star is a sub-faction of the outlaw. Zerilia is a sub-faction of outlaw. Um, Prime is a sub-faction of Okar, etc, etc, etc. So lots of little factions. As a Star Citizen player, I'm confused by this. Yeah, we've streamlined a lot of it so as to not make it so abnormally massive. Um, but yeah, varying factions and then sub-factions of each. It does work for Earthwine. Now, Earthwine, uh, clarification, Earthwine is a commodity, not an ore. So collecting resources via mining, you're going to be firing at deposits. If you find an Earthwine deposit, um, I would strongly encourage you not to drink it, uh, one. Because uh, I don't think it's legit if you're finding it in the DMZ. Uh, <laughs> see my point? <laughs> so there's commodities that have varying rarities in and of itself. Earthwine is very superior um, to be found in the DMZ. But you're not going to find it naturally generated. But you can find flawless iron naturally generating on the side of an asteroid. So mining, it's for those ores and those crystals, for the various resources, whereas commodities, they are separate. And that's different from tech resources as well. Tech resources are kind of like created through resources, right? So commodities, tech resources, ores, crystals. There's a lot of there's a lot of little things here that are all going to kind of be coming together in this update. As I'm sure some of you can tell. Oh my gosh, I forgot. We need to add the uh, the uh, wh the where's it at the Power units, cruise drive. Yes, cruise drive fasters. Oh, that makes me feel much better. All right, so now we need more. We need more. We need much more. All right, that's fine. Cruise drive is one of the new perks, by the way. We, we've shown this a number of times, but there are new perks getting added over time to uh, the characters. Uh, that you'll have access to, especially as the game continues to grow and blah, blah, blah. Points, reasons, you know. You know how it all works. All right, so access is de denied there. I thought I could get to Zarkov from here. Silly me. Forgot how to unlock that. I just, I just cheat and warp around the map so frequently. I forgot how to do things the way they're intended. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Is Earthwine made from Earth? I mean, if you're looking at it from the perspective of individual planets, then yes. Earthwine is made from Earth. Not wrong. Not wrong. No cheating. Yeah, I don't really want to cheat here. That's not gonna feel good. We haven't done some combat in a while. Let's get some, let's get some blasties on screen. Let's blow some stuff up. Uh, gonna make sure that I'm 
still addressing some comments and statements, so let's get this in. Uh, Shaky G says, I'm putting off playing more so I don't get burned out. Want to wait for 1.0 before I try again, but don't know if I can. No, no, I totally understand that. We are going to have several very exciting updates this year. Very exciting updates. I mean, I've already been teasing you some concept art of what to expect, what to look forward to from that front. Um, and it's only going to get more populated. It's only... There's going to be more item variety, there's going to be more items, there's going to be more enemy types, there's going to be more locations. Oh my gosh, it's just, it just keeps getting crazier, right? Um, and definitely understand the temptation to wait. Um, the temptation to wait, that's such an interesting way that I just put that. Uh, but I also really do enjoy waiting for the full release of products uh, so that I don't get burnt out. Totally, total mad respect there. Um, regardless, really do appreciate the support that you've given us thus far by purchasing into early access, by providing your feedback, and also showing your support. That's huge. That's seriously great. So thank you for that. You have already, you have already penetrated my heart and made me more joyful. So appreciate that. Ooh, yes! The blocker blocker. Blockers, it blocks blockers can only be blocked by a blocker blocker blocker. This guy's, oh my gosh, this item is, mwah, it's fantastic. Let me see. So that's better than the other one. And we're gonna just, we're gonna pull that over because we, we wanna make sure that we've got the blocker blocker. For somebody tuning into the stream who's expecting like a super serious experience every chance they got. Sorry, you found the wrong stream. We like to have fun with our game and we hope that you're having fun too. So thanks for joining a lot. Oh, we found even more blocker blockers. What is this? Mining equipment? Oh my gosh. It's almost like this should be useful in some degree or capacity for something else. Hmm. Uh, let's go ahead and, and use some of our... Uh, things so that we can make more space. Wow, so much iron now. Let's see, good. Not revealing anything I'm not supposed to. Is that it? Okay, cool. Give me that, perfect. Anti-missile drone, wonderful. from afar, now you guys are getting close. Very good. Just too much damage for you guys to handle. I dig it. Super gel and a jump core. Mm, jump core. I destroyed those sticky turrets. I'm sorry, Kazaa. I feel like I have hurt you. Very good. All right. Is there a date for 1.0? 2023, um, I th think we said a quarter? Did we say the first half of 2023? Michael, I need you to check me. <laughs> I want to say we said, I, I think we've said like something extra in one of the updates. I can't remember. We either said first half or second half of 2023. That I know for sure. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Uh, let's answer a couple questions and then we'll get back to blowing stuff up. And I really do appreciate you guys, you know, like having a lot of fun here. I know I can be pretty dang silly, but I do want to also very sincerely, I want to make sure that your questions, if you have some very hard questions that you want answered, I want to be here to answer those as well. So yeah, we can be silly, but also note that uh, if you are if you want to have a discussion, for sure, uh, open that up. We can talk about stuff and things. Um, and Michael says, we're aiming for quarter one of 2023. Thank you for that confirmation. Uh, it actually makes me feel a lot better. I felt like we've said that before. Um, just needed that added confirmation. So you heard it here first. Um, maybe not first. Quarter one, 2023. That is what we are aiming for. Medbad. Legit question, legendary commodities or other legendary things besides weapon and gear. And those two separate planets at Drake 
or one planet with two sides cold and hot? Um, what I can answer is that there's still a lot more items and in, in materials being generated for the game space. Um, how that is utilized in the game space, we also want to be careful about. Um, since, as you know, the more stuff that's added, the greater that hoarding mentality can start to get. If Also, we do want to help streamline certain components of the game and how it's being delivered, right? What I mean by that is a simple example. Um, since it's a looter shooter focused game, we don't want there to be a very realistic 20 billion different unique resources, ores, and commodities exclusive for the DMZ, right? That would make sense realistically, but from a game design standpoint, that's an absolute nightmare to handle. So there's a lot of simplification for equipment and item, commodities, ores, resources that you will be finding along your pathway to help put it into various categories, to help package that up and do with it as you will, um, whether that's trading, selling, crafting, whatever that looks like, right? That simplification should help keep things in order far better uh, than, uh, you know, if we had like just this super expansive, there's 10,000 of everything, you know? In regards to the tiers, it's more than possible. I'm sure we'll have a lot more information regarding legendaries and how that impacts the game space uh, in the future, maybe even sooner than later if we're lucky. Mm. Um, but uh, yeah, so here you go. Any teasers and info for the future of consumables? Oh my gosh. Oh, why did I read that out loud? It makes me mad. It makes me mad. <laughs> Our consumables uh, haven't been touched for a while because there's just been more important elements being addressed. There, there will be updates, changes, improvements, stuff like that to consumables in the future. Nothing to talk about right now. But let me tell you what, the stuff we've been focusing on is very important and I think that you'll be pleased uh, with the results. Like even, shoot, just like the mining in and of itself. I feel like progress has been pretty powerful on that front for us. I feel good about it. I hope you guys are feeling the same. There we go. Oh my gosh, more power units? Oh no. Oh no, we can't pick them up. We're full. Hang on a second, gotta do a couple maneuvers. Wow, that was close. Get wrecked. More jump cores, nice. More credits. Ooh, mines. Oh, Weber drone, but we're not affected nearly as badly, so I don't feel as bad. Look at this. There we go. Man, this, I, I'm really digging this beam laser, let me tell you. All right, let's see what we uh, found over here. Oh, Weber mines, okay. You're gonna need a bit, oh, hello there. Excuse me, you were not invited to the party. my engines to warm up, please. Wonderful. Damn. What do we got in here? Small nanobots. Man, why are we even using nanobots? We, uh, we never take any hull damage. <laughs> and before I get blown up in the next combat sequence. All right. <clears throat> That scrap metal had a perk icon on mouse over. I don't know if I've noticed that before. Yeah, that's, I believe that's a new addition, Kaza. So now you can see, um, like if you're looking at something that's good for your um, perks, 
it shows you on the screen, straight up. Shows you straight up. But you do have to mouse over it. It's not going to show you independently like that. Maybe that could be... Uh, that's, hmm. I'll tell you what, UI work is hard business. All right. There's only so much that you can fit in. All right. Taking out these guys. Good, good. Lots of equipment around. Uh, let's answer a couple more questions. Uh, oh my gosh, YouTube, I am so sorry. My chat wasn't scrolling. I have missed so many things. All right, let's see if I can uh, catch up here. How dare I? Will there ever be changes to sticky turrets? There's probably going to be a couple changes to sticky turrets in the future. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't think about like any sort of redesign or extreme changes, but that it's possible. Certainly, certainly possible. Um, gunship already has a sticky turret, so why not stick them to your own ship? That's, that's a 200 IQ game remove right there. I like that. <laughs> Goodness gravy. Using sticky turrets to attach them to enemy ships so they shoot other enemies from other ships sounds interesting. Yeah, that does sound interesting. I'm not going to lie. That does sound interesting. <laughs> you guys are making some really great suggestions that should go to the forums. Mm, anytime you get a really keen idea or thought, uh, it's always best to stick it on the forums because that's the greatest spot for us to catalog those ideas. So if we're working through a process or a revamp or whatever, we can cycle on through that and see what other people have talked about and decided on for themselves. What is best for our game and who knows maybe an idea like sticky turret should stick to an opponent's ship could actually be a thing in the future but not if it's not on the forums because i'm absolutely forgetting about that discussion after the stream mm. <clears throat> but i love it i love that idea it's cool uh where do how come baramite cores look like titanium instead of baramite mainly because oh you're you're joking. I gotcha. We do still have placeholders for um, for items and equipment and stuff. Uh, there's still more on that front being made. Man, there's too much stuff around here. Let's go to the smuggler base and sell some stuff. So let's head to the shop and start selling all of these resources we got and just get excited for how much, uh, how many credits we're going to earn for this. It's going to be nuts. We're going to sell the, we're at Earth Wine. You can see actually above me, it shows you how much uh, has been selected before I've even started selling. You can see that in orange. This is also something that was recently added. Um, we're just going to sell all the resources at the moment. And also these nanobots. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna get we're gonna get really cheeky. And I think we're gonna Oh shoot, that unhighlighted everything. Oh my gosh. Freaking Alright, we're gonna <laughs> We're gonna do this again. Uh quickly, 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 quickly. Uh and we're just gonna sell it all. Boop. For a pretty healthy amount of monies. Uh it I thought I got rid of you! Then I unlocked the blueprint, so it's on screen longer. Go away! Go away! Is it gone? Go away! Perfect. Alright, nothing to see here, folks. Sell this. Goodness, gravy. <laughs> see, we'll dismantle that as well. Uh, Union... Okay, perfect, we can do that. Look at how clean and fresh everything is. Oh my gosh, what a delight. Much better, much better. In fact, we're just gonna, we're gonna sell all the resources, why not? We're just gonna clean things up. 2,000 more credits, look at that. Nice clean inventory space. Who needs damage boosters, am I right? All right, much better, much cleaner.
Can you recommend me a game that is about space and is a looter shooter? Yes. So we are working on a game called Everspace 2, which I highly recommend. In fact, let me show you. You're welcome. Let's go pick up some loot and then uh, fly around, and destroy some more stuff. We're going to go to a high risk location and blow a lot of things up. Because this stream needs more explosions. And then at the end of the stream, we'll do a quick recap of everything we've talked about for those especially who missed the beginning of the stream and all the fine little goodies that we shared, including some concept art, some fresh concept art. Let me tell you what. What is this? Heat sphere dispenser. Oh my goodness. Scrap metal. Get in my ship. We need you. Actually, you know what? I kind of want to, I want to jump over to the high risk location like right now. So instead of collecting all the stuff here, cause there's a lot, I'm just going to put on my to-do list for later. Blow this guy to smithereens. Another union signal decoder. Nice. And we're going to head to our high risk location right now. We already have all the screenshots of it. Oh, that's good. That's good. I'm glad that you've been taking screenshots through the course of the stream. Always makes me happy. But we'll still go back through it, talk about it a little bit more. Oh, a distress call. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. What even is that Everspace 2? Is that some indie game? Oh my gosh, you guys. All right, here we go. Explosion time! I need you to go over there. Thank you, perfect. Oh, good dodge. Only possible through the use of slowing down time. Without super precise maneuverings. Up, missile dodge, good, good. Woo! This is gonna be tight. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. All right, feels good. Feels good. Do not want another corrosion missile hit. That would be very painful. Good, good. Oh my gosh. He's gonna pop. Wonderful. Another blocker blocker. Ah, oh my gosh. We are never gonna be affected by blocker blocker blockers. Let me tell you what. All right. Let's just melt this destroyer. Probably should have got a little bit more shielding first. And we should probably be aiming for that weak point. Oh, turn orange, please. That oh, was not so great. All right. It's a lot of missiles. A lot of elites here too. Hang on, hang on. Say hello to the asteroid. Oh, we missed! How dare we? We got some nanobots, which we don't need. <laughs> ah! All right. suffering we're good and he's I don't even need to shoot the weak points at this point in time. all right we're good see you later tater 
better value by weight. Nice. Feels good. Excellent. Oh, I didn't even... Oh my gosh. The entire combat, I could have shown first person view. I could have shown this. I could have I could have turned my inertia dampeners off and did like the let's move backwards and fire thing. Oh my gosh. How 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 come I missed all of these little opportunities? I know why, it's because I was in the heat of the moment. I was like really enjoying it. A lot of fun. But uh But guys, yes, there is cockpit mode. <laughs> you can turn your inertia dampeners off. <laughs> all these things are possible. Like we're not even using our engines right now, but uh, we're still moving. And inertia dampeners can be a lot of fun and also terrible, depending on how you fully utilize it. It comes down to uh, your play style, your opportunities, how you want to experience the game as a whole. So no big deal. All right, so we have about roughly 30 minutes left. So what I want to do here is I want to convert this as kind of like a recap section of the stream. Well, we're gonna show the concept art again. We're gonna show the video footage again of resources. So everybody has that nice and fresh on their mind. I wanna have some discussion with you all, right? Because again, these are your streams. The entire focal point of these community streams is you, the community. So let's go ahead and dive in on this. Uh, first, we are going to stream save this up. Boom. Game successfully saved. That's what I like to see. Then we're going to just kill the game. It's vanished. Oh my gosh. It's so silent, it's so quiet. Oh my gosh, crazy, crazy stuff. Um, we also want to pull this up for ready shares, hang on. Are you gonna, are you gonna jump over the, thank you game. All right, <clears throat> much better, much better. Um, so as you guys know, uh, we talked a little bit about um, how, with every system, like we're, we're introducing new factions and whatnot, uh, we want to, <laughs> we want to uh, have a lot of fun with introducing more of the world building that we have. Like there's, there's a lot behind the scenes that I'm not, I don't know how much you guys know about. Now there's some of you who know like way too much Grindel, um, because uh, A, you are insane on the membrane when it comes to wiki management, uh, but also, uh, thanks for your service because you helped us iron out some of our inconsistencies with our lore. Ha! <laughs> Fun fact! Uh, but truth truth be told, um, we do have this pretty intricate world designed uh, around the events of Outer Space and Outer Space 2. Lots of different things, lots of different elements, uh, different characters, uh, different factions, uh, the engagements of these peoples and how there are... Um, you know, going about their lives and in, in how they view the DMZ as a whole and its opportunities, um, all of that. Like, there, there's a lot here. There's a lot here, guys. Um, and with each one of these new sub-factions that we reveal, it's opening up the doors of this world that we've crafted from the very beginning. From the very beginning, like the, the Okar Prime and the Okar Clericals, they have been, or I should just say the Okar clerics. <clears throat> I'm trying not to get too much lore. Okay. It's all been there from the beginning. If you opened up your codex in Everspace One and you started reading, there is a lot there to unpack. Let me tell you what, it's just a roguelike. You're just like dying and respawning and you're like a clone with your memory being transported somehow, whatever, I don't care. The world, everything that's surrounding you, everything that's been uh, plugged into it. There's a lot, guys. There really is a lot. And um, and that's even further expanded upon through the DLC of Everspace One, which is only $10, 10 US dollars, uh, unless it goes on sale. And it's been on sale for like, I think 50% 50, 50 off or more than that. Um, there's, a, there's just so much, so much. And um, so through, through all of this, through all of these details, um, you know, like we're gonna continue that world building that we have very much enjoyed um, and continue to expand upon it. And we've done that with every system, right? We've done that with every single system 
that we have unlocked through early access. Um, and this isn't something where it's like, you know, they're meant to unlock in this sort of progressive story centric way. Like it's kind of doing that just because that's how development works. But all of these factions have existed here um, since the events of Everspace One, even. They've all been here, guys. They've all been present. So, uh, so yeah, we've got, we've got lots going on. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people saying, Prime! Mm, yeah, I, I'm a big fan. I keep hiding this right here, but Protector. Mm, I love, I love that ship. This ship is hot! Mm, tell you what, feel good about that ship. Alright, let's see what you guys are chatting about. I want to engage with you because not only do I want to but it's also my job ha <laughs> ha let's see what you guys are chatting about oh I am glad that Nightbot is sharing like the Everspace 2 roadmap for any of you guys have missed that I mean shoot I could I could uh, I could pull it up uh, uh, let's see uh, where's this at I could actually just pull this up on stream because this is something that gets talked about a lot, and uh, I think some of you guys don't realize that we legitimately have, like, the roadmap available for you to just straight up look at. Um, so, oh, yeah, look at our look at our beautiful team. Oh my gosh, all those smiling faces. Mm, I miss you guys. Oh, I miss you guys so much. Why can't we have another convention soon? Anyway. Um, so roadmap, we keep going down here. We get we got all this information. It's like Rogue's debut, spring 2022. That's definitely not a month. Definitely not a month. We did not reveal a month at all. So if anybody tells you that there was a month revealed, uh, they're a liar, 100% untrue. Uh, then we've got the Drink Gang Wars coming in summer 2022. Gang Wars? Gang Wars. That implies, like, factions, I guess? I don't know. Maybe I'm reading into that too much, but uh, I don't know what other new factions would be appearing in the, the Drake Gang Wars. That's that's particularly interesting. Uh, then we also have the Ancient Rifts. This is something that I uh, already spoke about briefly, at least, uh, through the course of the... Um, <clears throat> of the uh, stream, we had an individual ask about like kind of like late game content, right? Uh, some of that stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, very much is a, a thing that we are doing. Like this was, um, this was a stretch goal. This was a stretch goal through our Kickstarter. And it's uh, something that we really wanted to do. So we're glad that we hit that. Um, and it's just gonna add a lot of longevity uh, to when you finish the story and you've explored all the places and done all the things and you look at your clocked in hours and you're like, 200 hours, I want more, you know? It's gonna be able to provide that. Whatever that looks like, I don't know. Storyline wise, I also wanna point out because 200 could be a lot for some people. The storyline, we are aiming for a 20 to 30 hour experience from that alone. If you branch out and do all the things, yeah, I mean, we can talk 100, 200 more hours uh, from there some of you guys in early access already have like over 400 hours you mad lads thank you for all of your attention to detail and your feedback through that by the way uh but yeah ancient riffs then yeah early early 2023 i thought i thought i saw it somewhere oh my gosh you're right in front of me the whole time uh, early 2023 for that 1.0 release this does include linux mac xbox playstation I'm say that again for all of those who keep asking this question, dang it. <laughs> 1.0 release is when we will have it native Linux. Okay. Linux, Macs, Xbox, and PlayStation. Okay. Also read this next line too, because that's also important. We'll take us uh, six to nine months after the previous beat. Previous beat, okay? Previous beat. So what's the previous beat to Aerospace 2 1.0? Ancient Rifts. So the plan is to have everything show up at that 1.0 release at the same time. Will it happen? I, we hope, but that's the plan, okay? Switch version win, no switch. I wanna make sure that's super clear. I know you're, I know you're joking around, but I wanna make sure everybody is aware 
Even the Switch OLED is not, uh, it's just not <clears throat> at the level where we want to uh, optimize down for that. Um, we found success with the Switch with Everspace 1, don't get me wrong. Uh, we were pleased with the feedback and the results there, uh, but Everspace 2 is much larger and the Switch is just not an optimal system for us to uh, bring things together to. Uh, all right, so then there's some other stuff about tier three and tier four player ships and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, roadmap, the whole reason I pulled this up at all. Uh, there's this nice little graphic, which you can see. Early access roadmap, it has some words here. It says, blah, 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 read this. Uh, spring 2022, Rogue, the Light Fighter Rogue. We have language support coming in German, French, Italian, Spanish, Brazilian, Portuguese, Polish, Czech, Russian, simplified Chinese, Japanese, and Korean. We have new main side missions, as well as voice acting, new equipment, challenges, perks, overhaul, crafting, and resources, which I've been tooting about so much. And I've been so excited for you to see uh, increased player level cap. I mean, whatever. Some people love this. I, it's, it's a number, right? It's a number. For some people, I'm glad you guys get excited about it. Uh, mostly what this means is, you know, potentially new perks. Um, actually, guaranteed new perks because we have new equipment challenges perks right there. Summer 2022, we have the Drake Game Wars. Again, this is where you're going to see new enemy factions. Who knows what those look like whatsoever. I would really like to see some concept art. Anyway, uh, Drake is where you see like this ice, you see this fire. We got new side missions with voice acting, new activities, mini missions, challenges, new companion, increased level cap, fall 2022, where those ancient rifts come into place. I know I'm reading this verbatim. I understand that you can also read. I'm just excited about it. Ancient rifts, new in-game activity, activities, mini missions, challenges, increased player level cap. And then finally in the grand finale, we have that 1.0 release. What's funny about this? What's funny about this, I find hilarious at least, is that we have publicly stated that when we hit 1.0, we will not be done with the game. We have already publicly stated this. Already publicly stated this. So, while this is the roadmap of 2022, 2022, uh, and it shows the early 2023, there could very well be more <laughs> and when I say could, I mean there there will be. There will there will absolutely will be. We'll get to that after we hit 1.0. But uh, there's a lot to look forward to already this year. Uh, pretty exciting stuff. And I hope that you guys are along for the ride. Many of you are along for the ride, so thank you for that. Uh, very, very appreciative of how that's all coming together. Um, let's see. Let's, uh, let's open up way too many pages and whatnot. Uh, just going to talk a little bit more about the cliffhanger that we landed on at the end. Uh, just... Just to kind of like bring you all into the loop of this. Um, Everspace 2, because it's in development, you've been getting kind of like part of the story, then part of the story, then part of the story. And obviously intentional for us to gather feedback from to make sure that the voice lines are being delivered well and the story makes sense as a cohesive whole and that you're enjoying it and you know, all those other things. Um, but also like we don't want to end the story content at kind of a wonky part. So um, so this this just kind of captures a little bit more of what you'll be experiencing as we dive into the next regions of Everspace 2. You know, a lot of people, uh, myself included, really enjoy Tareen. Um, and you can see that there's definitely something going on inside of that Okar mind of his um, and the challenges that he's gonna have to face uh, through you, uh, through the situations that are um, <clears throat> you know, happening. Uh, is it something about Tareen? Is it something about the clone? Is it something about them both? Is it not something about either of them? Who knows? All I know is this guy's helmet actually looks pretty cool. I kind of want that. I like it. It's pretty neat. But where are they? What are they doing? I don't know. Who knows? But uh, we will find uh, some solutions to the story and um, also want to point out that as we narrate uh, more of the story to you, most, a, a big chunk of the story, a big part of the story is going to be released at the 1.0 point. Um, a lot of individuals have kind of looked at the game as being delivered in sort of a um, episodic release. And I have preached many times, and I will continue to preach many times, uh, that's not really, how the game is being delivered. Um, and uh, I kind of made a, a post about Discord about this too, but like whenever you are um, continuing your save file over, 
you're not just starting from where you left off and only experiencing content moving forward. There is new content added to the game behind with each update as well. Um, so we do highly encourage you guys, especially if you're being as thorough as possible and play testing and providing feedback, we always encourage you to do a fresh save to experience the whole thing because you might have missed some story components that were then added later. What? Yeah, that, that could definitely be a thing. Some side missions that were plugged in. Uh, it's very much a, a thing and there's more story to come. Um, and then once we hit a certain good point in the story, it's gonna be locked until that 1.0 release, in which case we're gonna throw it all at you and it's gonna be uh, a lot of fun, hopefully. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, let's see. So then we can come back here uh, and kind of just showcase this concept art one more time, just because it's such a delight, like my goodness. Um, so another big shout out here, um, actually to Zerilia. Zerilia Combat Units. Uh, I am not just shouting out a faction for kicks and giggles. Um, this actually does come from a Kickstarter backer. This name comes from a Kickstarter backer. Um, so again, on, earlier on Discord in the general chat, I actually added a user named Zerilia, and they are at a particular tier through Kickstarter, um, and we're having a, having a lot of fun uh, developing forward and working through some of you creative backers. Um, yeah. And if you are a Kickstarter backer and you have a creative tier and you're like, hey, wait, I haven't been contacted, also know that we are either going to contact you soon or we already have and you need to check your spam folders and stuff like that. Um, but uh, follow up with us, we'll follow up with you because uh, this is definitely an important time for us to be creating um, those creative sort of elements together. Um, man, I said that in such a convoluted way. Let me say that one more time. We have reached out to several creative backers at this point in time. There's still more that we are going to do, of course, uh, but have not sent out emails yet. So if you feel like you should have been contacted already, hold your horses, it's all right. Just make sure that you are watching the email you have associated with your Kickstarter backer role, okay? It's the big thing. Um, but we will absolutely make sure that you are contacted so that we can move forward with your respective tier accordingly. Woo, okay. All right. Oh yeah, and I, I know that I just talked about how, um, I, I'm glad that Michael's also pointing this out. Um, uh, I'm, I'm glad that Michael pointed this out. So we did have the, the point made over on YouTube uh, from YMO 1965. Do the updates still mess up save games just asking? Uh, no, they do not. Um, at least as far as it's in our control, <clears throat> we are optimizing the game state to where saves don't have wonky flags that are getting triggered to like screw up everything. There might be the occasional imbalance with what you're carrying over. Um, it's hard to explain, but long story short, we're trying to make sure that you can carry your saves over as much as possible. We know some of you want to just get into the latest content and through that, it's actually not a bad idea to continue where you left off uh, for sure. Still, I just want to point out, I, you know, obviously explained it. We do encourage people to restart their saves to get the full experience. And, and, and very important for all of you guys who have early access right now, when we do hit the 1.0 release, because of that emphasis on experiencing the game the way it's intended and to ensure everything comes together as fluidly and as beautifully as possible, there will be a save wipe. There will be a save wipe. So everyone will start from ground zero right from the beginning of the game and you're gonna see you're, you're gonna see a very large transformation of where the game is at, like even right now, versus where it's gonna be at that 1.0 release and your opportunities and how the game opens up. All of that stuff, it's gonna look, it's gonna look different. And this is why we are going to be doing that. So, um, so yeah, if that's, if that is offsetting to you guys, I mean, it's early access. We've been preaching this from the very beginning that there would be save wipes. The fact that we've reduced it to basically one save wipe, I hope that makes you feel a lot better. Uh, but still, uh, that is the intent. That is what's going to happen. Um, if that means you're going to wait till the 1.0 release, that's fine. But just also note, we absolutely appreciate the feedback that you've given us up to this point in time, the support that you've given us, whether it's financial, uh, whatever. Um, even if it's criticism, we appreciate that criticism too, because that helps us iron out what's not working in the game space. Um, very, very good stuff. 
So thank you for, for everything that you have submitted uh, up to this time. Very, very good stuff. Michael also says there will be more Zerulia content in the game. Just saying, hey, spoilers, Michael, all right? Do I need to talk to your boss? Jeez, man, goodness, look at this guy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, there's, there's actually, there's, there's so much more coming. Oh my gosh. Who am I kidding? It's going to be fun. It is going to be fun. All right. Wish I could go back in time and be a Kickstarter backer. Oh man, I know. We, we've, we've had so many people say that, like, I would have loved to do this, that, and the other thing. And it's true. It's just part of the, part of the whole thing. Did you know that we actually extended the Kickstarter period by like, it was at least six months. It was something absurd, something absurd. And it, you know, it's just timing. Timings are crazy. Oh my gosh, guys, you don't open up a conversation about NFTs. We're not doing NFTs, goodness gravy. Let's not make that a focal point of the stream. Get that out of here, you crazy people, you. All right, been watching this, but this is the first chance to say hello. Original Lord Drow streams. Hey, I remember you. I remember you, Lord Drow. Looking forward to upcoming additions and changes. So are we, and I'm glad that you're along for the, the ride. Thank you so much for your support. Really do appreciate it. Sick models, hey, thanks, Multi. We are pretty happy with how they've come together ourselves. Tell you what, good, good stuff. That monkey pick looks cool though. I wanna buy it. The the monkey pick? Wait a second, what in the world? Can we extend it again? Oh my gosh, Bearded Frog. No, actually, there is a... Oh, I, I don't know the specific details, but it is a, a... It's a legally binding reason why we were not able to continue to extend the Kickstarter. Like, we, we stretched it out as literally as far as we could go. <laughs> and then we had to stop. Um, so yeah, like, yeah. And that's not to say like the campaign was opened longer. That's just like the opportunity for there to be backers. The campaign ended, but then we'd stretched it. I, I think it was something like, I think it was something like six, six months. What legal reason? If you want the legalities, I mean, talk to Michael off stream. I, well, that's, that's it's not needed here, you silly goose. Not needed here, but it was for legal reasons. That's all you need to know. the legal or what you guys y'all are crazy <laughs> does anybody have any additional uh questions comments uh or otherwise pertaining to all the stuffs that i've been showing oh shoot i need a where did i hang on a second i need a i need to go to the wait page so you can see this beautiful what wait scene um, cause I wanted to pull up the little video, but hey, this is a great opportunity to remind you that we exist across a number of social media channels and your support is amazing when you just follow us on Twitter, whenever you check out our Instagram where we're sharing crazy photos that you guys have taken from in game, when you're going over on Reddit and sharing the love and all the different fields and spaces and galore, like guys, seriously, like this is so so important to us it's so good and we do appreciate it and that also does mean oh my gosh i'm gonna do it a third time guys i am doing this a third time that also means liking and subscribing and doing all of that support stuff like that goes so far it does it really does it has a strong impact and we do appreciate it when you do that um and wish listing is like that's like the that's the biggest thing that you can possibly do that helps get us out there to more people, uh, to help the community grow, to help us get more support, to shoot, keep the lights on longer and add more content to the game space, shoot. So uh, yeah, it's, it's a really good time. All right, so I'm gonna leave you guys with this video one more time. We did show this earlier in the stream, uh, but uh, I'm just, I'm really looking forward to this. It's gonna be something that we show you, uh, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. It's gonna be something that I'll be able to actively show you in game next week but uh, I've told you that we've been working on resources uh, like crazy. Uh, and this is, this is some of the fruit that we're seeing. Now, this is, this is a sample to kind of give you a, a sense of how this is all going down. But uh, yeah, this is, this is how the resources has been updated. Um, 
in our latest development branch, how you'll be interacting with it. It's not just one simple little mining node. We're gonna play it again because it's kind of short. <clears throat> and you'll be able to distinguish the resource from how it's scattered across the, the mining territories where it's located. Um, and in addition to that, of course, um, you'll know where you can find certain resources like these by being indicated on the map itself. Like I wanna put emphasis on that. This whole mining and resource updating thing, it's like we're, we're trying to cover the full gamut. Uh, one more time, we're gonna just keep playing, I don't care. Um, so uh, yeah, just really excited how it's coming together. Um, and you know, some of these, some of these bits has been inspired through, I mean, internally, but also through community comments and whatnot. So thank you so much uh, for all of that. Uh, and uh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's the conclusion. <laughs> oh my goodness. Are your haircuts a clue as to, of how we can customize our characters, including haircut in the game? Oh my gosh. I don't think we're gonna be having character customization in the game. Um, but to that, I will say that we've had the question about in-game characters uh, within the cockpits, and that has been uh, something of a uh, talking point internally. So we might have more information on that uh, in the future. Bobbleheads, you guys. You gonna make some of that awesome concept art available in high res? Would absolutely love that. Uh, Warren, when we do get approvals to share concept art like that, it actually shows up in high res in the um, the press folder. Um, I'm guessing, uh, Michael, I'm guessing that we're not gonna be able to put this concept art up yet after the stream, um, but I'm confident that we will see that in the future added to those packages. Um, it's just gonna be some time. So inevitably, yes, inevitably, yes. Uh, is there going to be DLC with Everspace 2 or is it just a complete experience? There is a plan for DLC. Um, we will work much more on the DLC uh, or like I should say we will work at all on the DLC after the full game's been released. So our attention is entirely on the Drake system and the resource and crafting. Everything in the spring update, the 2022 spring update, uh, we are hard at work on. We're hyper focused on uh, new <clears throat> factions, new items. Uh, which includes set items, uh, you know, there, there's a lot coming to that. There's a lot coming to that. So yeah, um, watching the time very closely. We got about like 30 seconds left. 30 seconds left. I have over 20 gigabytes of screenshots of this game and I'm probably gonna blow up my hard drive before release. Dude, Crispy Muffin, that's insane. I love it. Make sure you're sharing them in the Discord. I'm pretty sure you are actually. Actually, I'm confident you are, but that's uh, that's amazing. Rockfish color DLC coming soon. We, uh, th there's a, there's basically a Rockfish red in game. Is that what you're talking about? Putting more attention at DLC. I see how it is, Eric, I see. Yeah, I know. I, I know some people want us to be working on the D DLC now and put emphasis on that before we even release the game. Uh, we just feel that it's incredibly um, dumb. So sorry, uh, we're, we're gonna finish the game first. <laughs> shots fired anyway uh <clears throat> but yeah a lot, a lot more content to to show up around the corners we're, we're pretty happy with what's in queue for 2022 guys you have been awesome i have been eric schrader the community ambassador for rockfish games to talk about anything and everything everspace 2 related being your servant through this entire streaming process don't stop being awesome. We'll catch you next week when I hope I can show you this interaction right here, all of this stuff live in the game and maybe even more stuff to show on top of that. It is such an exciting year and we are just getting started. Mm, all right, I will talk to y'all later. Join us in the Discord, it'll be a fun time. For now, uh, I already said my goodbyes and everything. Yeah, okay, cool. Toodles!
Yo. I see that I missed some of your questions and comments in the chat. My apologies. It's not because I was ignoring you. It's because my focus was everywhere else. If I happen to miss your question, you should absolutely join the Discord. Head on over to the Ask Devs Questions channel and type me up a little thing. I'd be happy to respond to you there and let the rest of the community also know the response to it. Heck, you might even use the search tool and figure out that your question was already answered. That would be a big brain move. Otherwise, I love you all very dearly and I will chat with you next week. Goodbye.